Welcome to ETF 360. I'm Tom Lydon with ETF Trends, along with our Director of Research, Dave Nodding, and we have a special guest, Michael Hunstead, who's Head of Quantitative Strategies at Northern Trust Asset Management. Michael, you spend a lot of time analyzing factors. What do you like now in the factor space, and what do you not like so much? Well, if we're going to remain in the current recovery state, then we really like size and value as, as factors. We would expect them to continue to do well. So ETFs like TILT and TLTD uh, are poised to do very well in the US and the international space. And there's a number of reasons for that. When you look at the macro picture, historically during recovery, that's prime time for the size and value factors. So these stocks you know, tend to be very depressed in the preceding contraction, coming out of that contraction, they tend to do quite well. From an interest rate perspective, uh, things also look very good. When they have a situation that we're in right now of a bare steepening yield curve, uh, you generally have a positive outlook on longer term growth, not a lot of risk of a central bank engineered contraction. That's very good for both the size and the value factors. So from a rate perspective, we like things. So, Michael, a lot of advisors came to factors really over the last five, six, seven years, right? We had this, this huge run up in smart beta ETFs. And I think a lot of them are a little concerned that this move towards small caps, this move towards value, that they've heard this story before. Does this kind of factor rotation still work? Yeah, you know, it, it's all about what's going on at the particular moment. All factors can and do go through sustained cycles. That is why you get paid for taking factor exposure. It's not a free lunch. Uh, the risk premium is predicated on the cyclicality. And I think more and more we're starting to recognize that as an industry. Uh, but I think it's also important to recognize that factors are really two things. Uh, in one sense, it's a great buy and hold strategy. Over the long term, factor strategies provide some very good risk adjusted returns, especially relative to cap weighted benchmarks. Okay, that's great. Uh, but right now, what's even better is that over the short run, factors provide what I'll call granularity, meaning that you can take an equity market, break it into pieces, value piece, size piece, quality piece, uh, this allows you not only more choice, but these pieces behave very differently in different economic interest rate volatility scenarios. So they are an excellent tool to express your macroeconomic view. So you don't really need to rethink your whole asset allocation. It's just about fulfillment and how do you take those factors in the right combination to express your macro views. Michael, you, you touched on inflation, and uh, I, you know I'll, I'll tell you, I'm paying more to fill up my tank. Uh, I, I'm seeing commodity prices go through the roof. Heaven Housing forbid you want to build a house. You can't buy any wood. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. No, you can't. You can't buy any wood. And my bananas, my bananas, the price of bananas are bananas. What What's going on in this inflationary environment? In fact, is it sustainable? And then also during inflationary times, what factors tend to perform the best? Yeah. So our house view on inflation is that it will remain in relative check for the foreseeable future. Now, that being said, we fully understand that factors you know, have different performance in different inflation and interest rate regimes. So again, if you have a situation where short rates are rising faster than long rates, you know, central banks, they're trying to essentially engineer a recession, typically trying to fight inflation. Uh, defensive factors like quality, like low volatility, uh, tend to do very well. So ETFs like QLV and QDF for quality dividend focus and quality low volatility, uh, poised to outperform. Absolutely. Hey, Michael, thanks so much for joining us. See you next time on ETF 360.